Okay, marker. <laughs> Uh, I was about 15 years old when I started playing guitar. And I started learning. I took lessons from my neighbor up the street. I got really good at it and I really liked it. I was used to working with tools and doing math and things like that. And the guitar was just, it provided all of the things that I think I was lacking at the time. And what I love about it most is, uh, is the fact that it, it can be loud, it can be a lot of stress relief, or it can be soft, it can be however you are feeling at the moment. It's a great projection of emotion. Well, when we first started, uh, I was 16, 17 years old, and, uh, and I met a, a few folks that uh, had the same interests, and uh, they asked me to join their band, which I did. And uh, we started off playing a bunch of high schools, um, battled the bands. We, uh, we won a few of them. Uh, we wrote a lot of original music. And then as I got older and I was in college, we started to play a couple of colleges and more clubs uh, in Boston, Kenmore Square area, as well as in uh, Providence, uh, Rhode Island. Actually, one of the songs that we had put together and, and recorded uh, made it into the Boston Top 10 on a local album. Yeah, so uh, team skills, very important uh, in, a, in a rock band and in any kind of uh, team uh, effort. And, uh, you know, there were times where the writers and the band wanted to go in a certain direction. There were different times the drummer wanted to go a different direction. There were times where I wanted to go in a different direction. And uh, at the end of the day, we had to have a direction so that the, whatever we were doing would sound good. Some of these same skills I learned by being in a band, I still use today. Uh, you've got to have all those skills. You've got to be patient. You've got to be able to see the value in uh, the other ideas that people offer and allow those to take the full fruition and come to make the, uh, the program whole. I'm Scott Tingle, and I'm a NASA astronaut. Subscribe for more space.